Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Ballin, and as y'all can see, we back with another story time, y'all. And um, this story time is all about the first time I got booed on stage, y'all. Like, as if, like, if y'all didn't know before, before I started YouTube, I was a rapper, and uh, I like. Don't get me wrong, I, I love rapping to uh, to a stint. Like, I had a lot of performances throughout my um, years of rapping. I had a lot of followers and all that stuff, but I would rather drop it. <laughs> I would rather just drop it and just do YouTube. Because YouTube, you'd, do, you'd be so creative with your content and stuff. And. That's what I love about YouTube, y'all. So, that's why I dropped rapping to do YouTube. Even though I had a lot of followers, it wasn't meant, it wasn't meant for me. But that's like a little side story to let y'all know that uh, uh, why I made this YouTube channel and I would have followed this YouTube career than my rapping career. Like that, y'all. Let's get into the story. Now, this story time is something that, like, uh, it's something different. So, I remember, you know, Esley, I remember I was talking to a promoter a week ago before the show, and his name was Doe. And I was like, I was talking to him like, should I go first on stage? Should I go second? Should I go like somewhere in the middle? So like when this was like my senior year of high school, so I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was like all in the mix, and I was thinking to myself like, man, I'm really trying. I'm like, if I go first. People won't be there. Like it won't be a pack house. I'm pretty much rapping and us. You know, pretty much rapping in front of nobody, basically, because I was that type of rapper. I I did not bring a crowd at all. Like I had some crowds, but during this type of show, I think my my fans or followers, whatever you call them. They wasn't following me into that show, so like, you know what? I was talking to the promoter the week before that show, and I was saying that, like, I should go somewhere in the middle, you know, so just in case, you know, I got like a little crowd to come in, and then next thing you know, he was like, I, uh, I know. He said to me, because I was texting him, yeah, I know I'm gonna put you in the middle, but the day, the day before that show start, I found out I was going first. I'm like, bruh, that that killed my whole vibe because, dude, I wasted my money trying to sell the tickets, and then out of nowhere, I'm going first. Like, bruh, I know for a fact it's gonna be an empty house. Well. I know for a fact it's gonna be like an empty uh it's gonna be the arena gonna be empty. And then I remember like, one of my friends was performing with me. He was he's he was like right he was like third person to perform. His name was LJ Savage. But I was the first one to perform and um 